What's going on everybody? My name is Mario. This is a channel all about amusement park type stuff, but today we're at Georgia Aquarium. Straight out the gate, it's really cool entering. There's like a jellyfish exhibit and then the entry system is really cool. They don't really have people scanning your tickets. It's kind of like a subway system, I guess, right? Like you just scan your ticket, and doors open again. for you, you go through. I'm already excited about non-animal-y stuff, but Javi of course is more than enthused to read all about sharks. <laughs> So already some really cool stuff. Obviously all kinds of sharks in here. We have tiger sharks, sand tiger sharks, some hammerheads as well. But we have these really cool interactive touch screens where you can learn about the various sharks. Really cool to have an interactive touch screen in your exhibit. Very tech heavy aquarium so far. And I think this is brand new, this exhibit, right? Yeah, this is the brand new expansion. This is so fun. I feel like these are the questions that are most commonly asked in the animal care field, right? And they're all right there. So this area in particular has been my favorite so far. You can see the sharks straight on, but you can also see them swimming up above you. What'd you think? I loved it. That was amazing. She was a really excellent educator. She gave us a lot of really cool fun facts and things that Georgia Aquarium is doing to help animals out in the wild. That was a really fun interactive exhibit. You get to see the sharks from so many different angles. The graphics and the information around the exhibit was really fun for people of all ages, I think. Overall, I'd say that was a 10 out of 10 exhibit. I loved it. So next up on the docket is the Sea Lion Show. They have like a whole like uh, waiting room area sort of thing that has like uh, interactive games and like a fortune telling pelican it looks like. <laughs> it's not a very big stadium, so it doesn't seat a ton of people. You do have to make reservations, which are free. So if you are coming, just make your reservations as soon as you can. I'm excited though. So I can't record it, so uh, we'll see y'all after the show. So that was a really great show. It was about 15 minutes. It was short and sweet, but they did so many behaviors in it. I was just telling Javi that is probably the most behaviors that I've ever seen sea lions do. Really, really great. Not a lot of plot to it. I think that Sea Lion High is a better sea lion show. It's like quirky and cute, and that's like really the personal personality of sea lions. And so that's really kind of fun. But this is a great educational presentation, and it was definitely entertaining. This is really neat. Holy crap, it was so cool down there. Like you're just completely fully surrounded, like on top, on the sides. Really amazing down there. Georgia Aquarium does a fantastic job of encompassing you in the vibe of whatever exhibit they're trying to give you. Like this gator exhibit feels very swamp. Oh, nice try. You can do it. 
Hello darkness, my old friend. Mojito. That's such a cute name. That exhibit was so cool too, and we lucked the heck out and got to see the gators being fed, which I have not seen in a while. Really cool. Right by the uh, National Park exhibit is a little touch tank with some stingrays. Oh, no, it's going. Now we're heading to the dolphin show. Is that the SeaWorld logo? <laughs> Okay, in addition to those just being some of the most incredible creatures in existence, the option for the tunnel to be a moving walkway or move at your own pace, phenomenal! Because there were some points where we didn't want to move at all, but then some points where we were just enjoying coasting through. I mean, that is, that's a stupid thing to geek out about, but it's kind of cool. And how about the whale sharks? What do you even say? There's just the most phenomenal creatures. Earlier, one of the educators was telling us that this pool is about the size of a football field, and yeah, it's massive. Holy crap. Like I said, you can't get an idea of the scale of these creatures because even the fish that are swimming by them are like massive fish. Like, I literally don't know how to give scale. I mean, maybe when another one passes up by the glass, you can see it relative to like an adult human, but they are just ginormous. This is one of our whale sharks. This is probably Taroko right here. Taroko's about 24.2 feet long. This friend who's kind of hanging in the back, you can kind of see him right in the middle of the habitat over the rocks. That is Yushan all the way in the back. He's 26.6 feet long. You guys watch Taroko going by. Remember I told you that the acrylic right here is 63 feet long. So now we're unfortunately going to breeze through some of the exhibits. We're getting close to our time that we have to leave for the airport. We're moving a little quickly to make pace and uh, go check out the Coca-Cola factory next. I like this. There's a glowy vibe. Oh, baby! Oh, that's kind of cool. The divers in the background. One of the cool things that some of the educators have talked about here is that they're actually trying to restore some of the coral in the wild by taking it in here, allowing it to grow and flourish, and then putting it back out where it came from. Really cool. Oh, I didn't even see that one. That's 
Jackson's Georgia Aquarium. Fantastic. Some of the best aquatic exhibits I've ever seen in my life. Highly recommend it. A lot to do. You could feel a good like three, four hours there. We spent longer there, but I know this one's more into to that stuff than most people. But uh, I really enjoyed uh, the aquarium. Good stuff. Thank you.